Hey, welcome to the introductory video for Sokatoa. Um, okay, Sokatoa, that is just gibberish, right? Uh, not really. Sokatoa is like an acronym. It just reminds us of something. It helps us to remember a couple of different equations. Actually, not a couple, three different equations. Now, the three equations come from each one of these little three-letter bunches here. So the first one is so, and that uses this thing on your calculator called the sin button, or the sign button as we call it. Now the next button is cos, so the C stands for cos, and the T, you should be able to see it on your calculator there, besides, beside sine and cos is tan. Now if you do not have a sine, cos, and tan button on your calculator, you have now outgrown your old calculator. Your calculator that doesn't have sine, cos, and tan is now crap. So get a new one. All right. So, sine, cos, and tan, that's what the S, the C, and the T stand for. What are these other ones, though? There is an OH, there is an AH, and there is an OA. Well, those are all side lengths. Opposite side, hypotenuse side, adjacent side, hypotenuse side, opposite side, adjacent side, three different sides. Now, we use those in these three equations. The first equation we need to know is that sine of theta, what the heck, theta, yes, theta, theta is the angle, we'll go over that, uh, the sine of theta is equal to O over H, now the cos of this theta thing, or the cos of the angle, so whatever angle you're using, is equal to A over H. And then lastly, okay, you should be able to figure this out now. So the sine of theta is equal to O over H. The cos of theta is equal to A over H. The tan of theta, hopefully you can work ahead here, is equal to O over A. Good. So this thing, so katoa, and you need to pronounce it properly. So is OH. Ka is AH. You can hear that in the ka. And toa we pronounce the A, so you remember that it's over A. Okay, so those three things are very important. I'm going to put a box around them, they're so important. They are your three primary trig ratios. Now, if I wanted to get all mathy on you, I probably would have called this video primary trig ratios. So Katoa is kind of just loose offhand kind of thing, but whatever, I like it better. So Katoa. All right, now, what's this theta thing? Well, theta, first of all, is called the angle. So whenever I say sine of the angle or cos of the angle, it means theta or the angle. If I give you 20 degrees, then you use 20 degrees. So you have to remember that it means the angle. All right, now, what are the other things? O, H, and A. First of all, I'm gonna draw a quick triangle here. Let's see if it works out okay, come on, baby. Beauty. Okay, so I have a triangle. Now I'm going to draw a right angle here because remember Sokotoa only works for right angle triangles. And the first side I'm going to label is going to be called H. Now let's call this H. Okay, H stands for the hypotenuse. And you should already know what this thing is. You've seen it already. You've seen it in Pythagorean theorem. The hypotenuse is the longest side of the right angle triangle. It's always opposite to the right angle. And instead of writing it out here, the squiggle, I'm going to put it inside. So it's this side here. That's your hypotenuse. Now, where's O? O stands for opposite. So if this is my angle, this is my angle theta. It could be, say, t 3 degrees maybe. I don't know. But if that's my angle, then O is opposite to that angle. So if you go across the triangle over here, this side length right here is opposite. So I call this side O, which leaves the other side to be A. What's A stand for? A stands for the adjacent side. Adjacent means beside. Now, what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to pause these things and write that in there. You won't notice a thing. So doesn't it look exactly the same as how I left it? Okay, maybe a little bit prettier. Um, now, things to remind you. Hypotenuse, longest side. 
opposite is opposite to the angle. This is very important. So when I say opposite, I mean opposite to the angle. And adjacent, adjacent means beside. Now it's beside the angle, but it's not the h that's beside the angle, so I usually just do it as the last side. You start with your h, then your o, then your a, or you owe your h, your a, just do your a last. All right, so I'm gonna ask you to open up the next video. When you do that, open it up in a new window. Keep this one beside it, split screen your screen, so you have this one as like a blackboard we can refer back to. All right, see you in the next video.